Welcome back viewers. In this video, we are going to work on add product to shopping cart. There are several ways you can handle shopping cart. In this video, we will use session. User don't need to be login to add product in shopping cart. They can login while they have done the shopping and ready for payment. Let's start. First of all, you have to come to here in single page dot html inside this product and we will start our work from here i will make here one form tag and this one has a action of i will give it url for and here i will give it add cart and the method is the already post and then here i will use one input to get id of product and this input type will be hidden and name will be product id and uh, value will be product id and then here i will use a button and this button i will give it type of submit class here we will use the bootstrap btn btn sm and uh, btn warning for the background and name will be Add cart and then I will give here one label so for this label will be for the quantity input for quantity and this input will be numbers and name we will use here quantity ID we don't need value I will give it by default one and then min I will make it one and uh, for the max I will make it here whatever inside our store i will give it product dot stock and the last thing here we will use there is one option colors in our database first i will set the variable because we have to separate them and like set colors equal to product dot colors dot spilt and we will spell them by comma and then I will use here select and name I will make it colors and for the colors I will give also a label this label will be for the colors normally we don't need the colors and inside here I will use the for loop for and by splitting this one will be like a list we will use here for loop for color in colors and we have to in this for loop in for and here I will use again one variable to extract by then colon set I will give it this name call this will be color dot spilt this time we will spell them by colon and then here I will write now option value I will give it this call zero I will copy this one for the outside that we can see and here I will make the first word to be capitalized and we are done from here so now I will come here in cards you can see in the cards discard folder empty and I will make one another file here so this will be inside this it is empty I will first I will register this one I will come to init.py and here you can see we are already registering admin and product two folders this is add you can see here is admin folder and this is product folders so now we have to register this card folder also from shop dot cards import cards that file i will come to here route i will import these all things so it will be easy to copy and paste don't have to spend much time to typing and now i will initialize the route app dot route and here i will give it the name of add cart so then it will be method will be equal to post you will then define add cart and it should be like this first capital and c as a capital and c also capital and then i will give it try block and i will pass for now then for the accept i will give it exception and this exception as e and then i will just print that e and then here i will write finally we will go return and file will be return redirect and here we will go 
for the same page again we will write here request dot re refer and it will go back to same page and now if i go to my program is already running if i check here i go to my browser and write localhost 5000 and you can see this is and if i go to okay this spelled is wrong spelling i have to go in single page see the spelling of this should be not spelled and another was spelling is okay and now if i go to here you can see and uh, i have to delete this a tag here we don't need now and now you can see this is quantity and here we have this colors and i will give it one hr here to make it beautiful i will give an hr here and one hr after discount hr here and one hr i will give also after description so there will be several lines now so now let's go to our work cart.py in try session i will do first of all we have to get that product id what i will do here i will write this product underscore id equal to request dot form dot get and we will get here product underscore id if you make if you wish you can make it also int and then we have to get that quantity and here i will write quantity equal to request dot form form dot get and we will get here this quantity then we have to get this color colors equal to request dot form dot get colors then we will get the products and here i will write this just product equal to add product we don't have this one i should have import this product we will use from shop dot products dot models import add product so now i will use here add product dot query dot filter by we will filter by id equal to product id and here i will give it this first and then i will give a condition if request method is post and id and color and quantities are not empty then we will proceed for the add product into the card if product id and quantity and colors are selected then and request method request dot method equal equal to post then we will make here one python dictionary this will be dict dict item equal to this dictionary we will proceed by product id product id and then inside product id we will use also one dictionary and inside this dictionary i will give it name the name will be product dot name and then we will get the price then we will get the price price will be product dot price and this price is coming from our database we are storing inside this dictionary we will get discount and this discount will be product dot discount and uh, what else we need here price discount product name product price product discount then we need here also product color so here i will give the name of color and this color will be the variable of this color and then for the quantity quantity will be also this variable of quantity and uh, for image i will use this image you will get the first image here i will give product dot image one we have their image first 
So now this dictionary items are done. We are getting these RRs. I will make here one another if condition. If I will give it the name of shopping cart in session. For now, I will just print the shopping cart in session shopping cart. I will copy this shopping cart here. Not in shopping cart, else I will make it here shopping cart equal to dict array. There will be dict items. Then we will return, then redirect to the home page, or I will redirect to the same page. So, no problem. Maybe this request dot re refer. And now we will store only first atom. I will come here in single page. You see here we are using one disabled. Go away. I will make this one is cart here. I will just use this shopping cart and here I will give it the length. And you can see now if I go to here in my browser, refresh, you see the shopping cart is zero. If I add, go to here, let's see why it's not adding. One spelling mistake here. This ID, we have to make this T here. Now if I go to my browser and refresh, and you can see here cart is zero. If I click here, you can see this is now one. And if I go to back and uh, add this one, we just add one and we cannot add another item. So what I have to do now, I will come here in session if, oh, this should be shopping cart. Here we have some spelling mistake. This should be shopping cart. If shopping cart in session, then if shopping cart in session, what we can do, we are printing here shopping cart. I will give one another if product ID in this session, I will give it this name here in session, then I will print here the message. This product in already in your cart. So later we will just increment its quantity. So now I'm just printing to see this one here. Else, here we will use again else. If this ID is not in session, then return. And I will use here one function to merge the dictionary to another dictionary. I will come to here and I will define the function merge dict. I will pass the argument dict1 and dict2 and then I will write here if is instance dict1 list and is instance of dict2 is also a list then what will we do return dict1 plus dict2 but actually we don't need this one and we need for our work is dictionary because we are using a dictionary and this is for the list and as if instance dict1 is dict and instance of dict2 is dict and this is the original work for our because we are using here a dictionary then we will return dict and this will be list and inside this list what we will use here we will use dict one dot dot atoms and plus here we will use uh, list dict two dot atoms and the last return false so now our this function is ready i will just come to here and I will just copy this session again equal to and I will make this merge dictionary and here we will use this shopping card dict items and uh, let's try now I will come to here and 
refresh so our program is running there is no error if I click add product you can see now we are have a 2 and if I go back to this watch if I make it here now you can see we have a 3 and now you can see we are adding the cards here from and we cannot add from here if we click the add card we are not using this one so for my page you can do the same if you want but there will be some problem deal with this one i will make them type of hidden what i have to do now i will come here in single page and inside single page i will copy these all from here and come in index and then here the last product i will put it here then we will apply for all so now you can see here we have a quantity I will make it hidden there we cannot see I for the selection this ID will be colors I will give it a style this style visibility I will make it hidden so now here refresh our page you can see this colors and the quantity I have to remove this labels we don't need this labels and now if I come to here and refresh you can see we are here and but these all are now collapsed this button I will give it float right now you can see everything is working fine I will make this shopping cart here I will come to where I was displaying the shopping cart search and this is the shopping cart we are displaying here I will just come and copy and and I will come and paste it here in navbar this one is here disabled I will remove the disable and paste shopping cart here and now if I come here and refresh you can see we have already this three and now if I add this one you can see we have now four so we can add from here and it, it will get only first color and quantity will be one because here you can see the value is one and for the colors it will get the first color and yeah you can use this for the category and brand also as we did here so for the category and brands i will copy this and paste it to the now here we are using the categories and I will paste it here and instead of product ID we have to use get cat ID here we have to use get cat ID instead of product ID colors we have to use this get cat now these two we have to change and others should be same because we are using the variables here and for the last one here for the brand I will copy again this form from here and paste this inside here after this detail so now here we should use this bid and then here will be also in b colors so now if i save from here and come to in our browser and refresh you can see our program is running now i will go to the category ipad the product is not defined the category maybe we are using somewhere this product where is the product inside the category get get for the stock so i will remove this stock we don't need here because nobody can see it it's hidden and i have to remove this stock and the minimum now if i go to here now refresh and already we have here four if i click add card it's already added or what if I go to something, click, you see, add to card. This one is added. If I go to uh, from here in brand, if I go to the Sony, you can see we have here two, and this one is already added. If I add this Sony to the card, you can see now we have count here six. And uh, for the category, if I go to watch, we have these three watch. I guess this watch is not added. If I click this watch, this watch. Maybe we have some problem in categories. Get cut ID and product ID here is value will be one. Okay, I have to remove this A. Maybe that was the problem. And now if I go to here and refresh, 
when you click add you can see now here we have seven so now you know how to add products into cart in next video we will display shopping carts so that's all for this video thank you very much see you in next video take care bye bye